Hello there, my name is Sansquallow and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, in this video, I'm bringing you a huge cryptocurrency update, a lot of interesting news to take a look at, a lot of important stuff that we really want to mention and that I really want to mention in this video and also the S&P 500, which is actually currently going down with probably a target of at least 4,000 points as of this moment. And uh, yeah, so we lost all of the support here and we are moving downward. And uh, Bitcoin is actually trying to follow it right now a little bit, but before we get into any of it and what to do and what I'm currently doing and what kind of a trade I've missed and what am I um, uh, expecting to see from Bitcoin right now, before we get into any of it, please leave a like on this video because the more likes there are, the more motivated I am to make these videos each single day. And as always, hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so that you're notified when I make a new upload. And uh, let's get into it. And uh, by the way, the reason why I'm so busy right now, because the trailer for Corallo Trading Show Season 1 is coming out in literally like a few days. And then the first episode is probably going to be going out on the 3rd of April. And then each single Sunday afterwards is going to be one episode um, uh, each single Sunday of Crawlo Trading Show Season 1. So make some noise down in the comments for Crawlo Trading Show and for the first five participants who won a trip to Dubai and spent two weeks with me here trading at the trading floor. Okay, so we already basically spoke about the S&P 500. Let's just go to Bitcoin and take a look at what is going on. We are still fighting for this support in this area, which again works like magic and currently so we're basically fighting for $38,000 and this instance uh, is quite a complex let's take a look at the volume because I'm just doing it all together with you and here we had some kind of a break but again you can readjust this key market level which could maybe uh, actually uh, tell us that we didn't actually uh, close below because as you can see mine is a bit imprecise and also another thing that you always have to look for is volume so here really I mean there was no volume so we had this beautiful rejection which was real nice especially in the hourly chart and this is the trade that I've actually missed which was right here uh, let me just turn off the volume and uh, when we had this break then actually we had some increase in volume uh, just a tiny bit but nonetheless for a false break it was enough to actually play it up and uh, move your um, take profit into uh, the stop loss into your profit and have a basically risk-free trade and I'm telling you this for risk-free trade is because we have in a very super short-term perspective we have a super strong key market level approximately here at about 39,200. as you can see the price has been just Barely. I mean, we had one breakout here, one attempted one here, and then also just now we had one here and it got rejected. So for this reason, when you see this kind of and you're trading into such a strong short term, even a super short term key market level, you have to always manage your risk. Otherwise, you can get stopped out five times in a row. So this is active trading. And if you want to be trading actively, I recommend using Bybit. And with my link down in the description of this video, um, you can create an account. It takes like 20 seconds. And uh, uh, go to Rewards Hub and make a deposit. And on top of your initial deposit with my link, you will get uh, $4,100 in free bonuses for your own trading in real money, which is amazing. And if you're from US and uh, any crypto exchange is blocked uh, or any other country, then uh, the, in the, there is a link down in the description of this video uh, to a 73% discount on NordVPN, which you can install on your phone or your computer and access really uh, any exchange from anywhere in the world. So in this instance, uh, I'm always saying that you always have to pay attention to your range, ATR, etc. So in this sense, uh, the ATR would be uh, would permit us to actually trade it, but uh, the range would not. So in case if you're taking uh, a trade that goes against your range rules, then you really have to uh, do it all using proper risk and money management and all of it in my certified and accredited five month long trading education at thomascrawler.com. A, a good discount down in the description as well. So what am I looking at right now? So currently we also had this false break, which was actually quite nice, which happened literally just like right now. And uh, as I'm recording this video pretty much. So um, what I'm looking for is to see how the market is going to play out and trade uh, either the break above, above or the actual break below because we had the uh, break below in this area of this wedge that I've discussed previously which was a beautiful break then we had a retest and then we moved down but again it was into another level so if you did trade it hopefully you uh, use proper risk and money management and when you saw this false break happening you would have actually left the trade with a profit which would have been very nice and uh, basically 
currently the most important aspect is for us to wait for the interest rate hike because there is a reason why everything is currently so slow in the market and why we are just consolidating and the interest is dropping and we are just going side move and the reason why that is is because the federal reserve is expected to rise the interest rates this week and everyone is waiting for it to see how is that going to affect the Bitcoin. Of course, it's going to affect the S&P 500. We saw that already. We are looking at a uh, bigger fall here. So uh, S&P 500 is going to go down. But is Bitcoin going to go down just as much together with S&P or whether there is not going to be that very much of an effect and is going to actually trigger us to start moving upward. So we'll see. And this is very interesting. This is a historical moment for Bitcoin and everybody is waiting to see what is going to happen. And and also, um, uh, when it comes to this right here, is very good news. This is super huge for Bitcoin, for cryptocurrencies in general, and everybody was afraid of this. And that is that Europe actually rejected the proposal to limit POW uh, crypto, such as Bitcoin, but uh, sees draft rules for sustainability, but says draft rules for sustainability. So basically, what is this? Um, European Union uh, proposed a ban on proof of work cryptos, basically the ones that are using, you know, a lot of electricity for mining, whatever. Uh, those are that supposedly that are bad for the environment. Yeah. So and uh, that could have been really bad for crypto, but they ac actually rejected this proposal. So they understand that they're going to miss out on a trillion dollar opportunity. So and they just uh, instead they're going to set a, a drive the rules for sustainability, which is huge news for crypto. So nothing bad is happening in this instance right here but also a small good thing is uh, right here which is Elon Musk says that he won't sell Bitcoin Ether or Dogecoin so it's a very tiny small thing but nonetheless it is quite nice that uh, cryptocurrencies are gonna be hodl of um, Elon Musk and so is gonna be for Michael Saylor and all the people who have the average entry price into Bitcoin uh, above uh, $30,000. So yeah, this is looking quite okay for the moment and we are looking to see what is going to be the effect of the interest rate increase this week. And uh, this is when we're gonna have the biggest opportunity for a huge trade. And again, with my link down in the description, you can prepare for these big trades yourself and get up to $4,100 in free bonuses on top of your initial deposit and use it for your own trading. All right, so uh, remember, just one small reminder, just in case if you have forgotten, um, that is that the most important area for us to actually, because it's possible to find interesting long trades in this area as a bounce or a false break of this support right here, if we believe in the climbing prices, but the most important confirmation for us to see that Bitcoin is turning and is setting towards the all-time high is going to be this area right here, the break of $45,700. So this is the safest bet and here is the lowest and the earliest possible and actually a very awesome entry as well, which I'm going to be entering very soon once I find the best entry for myself. And once I do, I will certainly let you all guys know. And uh, stay smart, stay rich, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.